This is number five from the 2012 AP Calculus exam. And in this particular question, they give us this graph here. Uh, weird looking graph. It's got different components to it, open circles, closed circles in different spots. So definitely kind of a weird graph, but pretty typical of something to encounter on the AP Calculus exam. Which of the following statements is false? So in a situation like this, we're, we're going to have to rely on guess and check. So I've already tried to get a lot of the legwork written in here to, to allow us to figure out what the conclusion is. Uh, choice A is actually what I would probably predict is the most frequently given wrong answer for this question. Uh, so it says limit as x approaches 2 on this function exists. So from the left side of 2, we're coming toward this open circle, which has a y coordinate of 2. From the right side of 2, we're also coming toward this open circle that has a y coordinate of 2. From time to time, I see a lot of people confuse a limit existing with the function being continuous there. The limit exists. We approach the open circle from both sides of 2. The limit is 2. Uh, so even though there's a, a closed circle down here, doesn't make the limit non-existent. It does make the function discontinuous, but that's not what choice A says. Uh, choice B, limit as you approach 3, exists. Similar situation on each side of 3. Approach it, you're looking at a, a y value really close to 5, maybe a little under 5. Uh, but either way, you're approaching the same value from both sides of 3, so that limit exists. Limit as we approach 4 exists, so go to each side of 4. So here's 4, left side of 4. We approach the open circle down here with a y value slightly below 2. So the smaller side of 4, we get a, a limit of about 1.8. Bigger side of 2, we get a limit that's 4. So we approach this open circle from the smaller side of 4. We approach this closed circle from the bigger side of 4. Because we approach different values from the two sides of 4, this is definitely the limit that does not exist. This is the statement that's false. Uh, if you look at the rest of these, just to kind of confirm that they are true. As we approach 5 from both sides on this graph, we're approaching the peak on the graph, this local maximum up here, which seems to have a y value of 6. So we do have the value approaching the same thing on each side of 5. And then the function is continuous at 3. And, and this is one that I would also think is probably pretty popular to pick as, as an incorrect option. There is something that you've mentioned in calculus that's happening at 3. Uh, you have a cusp at 3. The slope changes instantly from a positive to a negative without gradually crossing all values in between. The function is not differentiable at 3, but it is continuous. For continuity, we need the limit to exist. So as we approach 3, the limit exists. We already said that back in part B here. Uh, you need the function value to exist. The function value is included on the graph right here. There's not an open circle there. Uh, and both of those things have to be equal to each other. And we can check all three of those boxes for choice E. So we are continuous at 3.